Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today it's just another catch up with Coventry City and I'm joined by Sophie. We're going to talk Coventry City. A couple of words just to sum up how you've assessed the first few games of this season. Well they've virtually all been away haven't they? Yeah. Um, underwhelming. Mm. If I had one word underwhelming but not entirely surprised because of our transfer business. Yeah, and depressing in a way as well when you mix it in with the off the field issues as well. Um, we're going to get into the games and the stats and the upcoming games and just have a little chat about what we actually think might happen this season. Get your thoughts down below whether you're feeling positive or negative. This has been recorded before the Middlesbrough game and hopefully things turn around. But during the time of this international break, things don't look great. I'll run through the results. Uh, Sunderland, 1-1 one, one draw. That was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, do you know what? Started the season, thought, OK, yeah. take that. Yeah, not a bad result there. Jokerez's goal was good. Um, we then had the 3-2 defeat to Millwall, where we took the lead 2-0. First half was alright. Um, Hamer at fault for the red card. Moore, once again, not catching yeah. the ball. Um, the Hull City game, for me, is a real standout bad yeah. one, because... They're not looking great at the moment, and they had quite a few injuries when we lost to them. I, I don't know yeah, what you I thought of that. Yeah, I was not expecting us to go there and lose. I thought, I genuinely did think we'd go there and draw, so I was, yeah, bitterly disappointed by that. Yeah, all three goals were so preventable as well. Um, I won't forget the Bristol City Cup game. People might say, oh, it's irrelevant, but when you mix in with this, it makes it even more depressing. We lost 4-1 to them at Burton. Terrible. Mm. The 1-0 home defeat to Preston, the jolly return to the CBS was absolutely flattened by our bogey team. It wasn't very good. What do you think of that game? It was a bit uninspiring, wasn't it? It was, to be honest. Like, being there, it was a little bit flat. But, again, against Preston and, like, kind of seeing like, how they'd played before, I wasn't entirely that surprised. Mm. Um, I didn't think we played amazing there. I've seen us play much better. Um, but yeah, to not get anything from our first home game of the season, when we built it up, we had to wait so long for our first home game, and then for us to lose 1-0, good to him. Yeah, uh, we lost away to Norwich, there's no disgrace in that, but then at least try and style it out a bit. We lost 3-0, we just didn't cover ourselves in any glory. I feel like Norwich actually took their foot off the gas in the second half. They could have beat us 5-0. I'm not, not just trying no, to be No, I, I said that as well, I don't they think they got out of second gear. No. Um, a couple of people that went, they said that um, we actually played quite well in spells, however, scoreline doesn't reflect that, and again, we got nothing from it points-wise. Yeah, maybe could have had one goal, but could have conceded more at the same time. Uh, the one result which I actually think is good this season is the 2-2 draw at Luton um, once again though I think performance wise defensively we were still terrible but it was the goals that saved us and um, it's one of those games that Hamer actually put himself in uh, the spotlight for a good good reason so um, mm. that was a good point and then just before the international break it was a 0-0 at Birmingham so seven games without a win that's not a disaster and another red card for Hamer yeah what's your thoughts on the draw there just meh uh, do you know what? I did think we might draw that and I wasn't absolutely gutted that we drew to be honest. The main thing for me was that we kept a clean sheet. I yeah. think that would have done the defence a whole lot of good. Ben Wilson, for mm. him to get a first clean sheet, I think that's going to cement his place in goal for at least a few games unless he makes some howlers, which hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, so, three points from seven, we're well under a point per game. We're under 0 0.5 points per game. So we need, with eight games in October, we need to win. I mean, it depends how you want to style it out. But I think we should minimum win three. Got to try and win mm. four to try and recover from this start. And we still might be in the bottom three come the World Cup, which is not great because that's almost the halfway point. Mm. The problem for me is defensively and yeah. also depth. This is the bench mm. from the Birmingham game. Simon Moore... Waghorn and Walker, who've just not been very good strikers yeah. for us in general, and there's no disrespect, they've just, they're just not really done anything amazing in a Coventry shirt. Todd Kane, who's okay. Josh Eccles, he's young, maybe an okay player for the bench. Burrows, who I've never really seen. And Casey Palmer, who's a player we haven't been able to get a tune out of. Mm -hmm. That, for me, is not good depth. No, that is not a championship If we're losing bench. a game, who do you bring on to save the day out of that? What, losing a game? I wouldn't want any of them on. No. Which I'd want our starting eleven to finish like that. Yeah. Um, sometimes, yeah, if there's tired legs, maybe Palmer. But I've not seen enough of him to be mm. convinced. I'm just saying that because he can be good creatively. It's just we've not seen that. No. He's not looking good. Um, <laughs> the starting eleven, we're having issues with Hamer. Two red cards already this season. He's given the ball away for a couple of goals this season, so yep. that's not great. I'm not trying to just look at negatives. We'll come on to positives in a minute. We do sound very But good. they're the issues. <laughs> 
Expected goals says we are actually probably where we deserve to be after seven games. Okay, we mm. could maybe have won one at a push, but ultimately we haven't created... We've created a few good chances and we've actually scored a few goals. The problem is defensively it's not, Yeah, better. it's not the attack that's the issue. Um, and the centre-backs, we've got four. We've got Rose, who's now injured. I don't know how for, for how long. Here's some positives. Panzo and Doyle, I like the look of. I like the... Yeah, I think they're very, very solid, the pair of them. Especially um, Doyle for such a young age. I think Panzo pre-season got a couple of goals and I thought, mm. okay, an attacking threat going forward. One of the games, can't remember, he hit the bar. Oh, know, Sunderland, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, had money on him to score, so... Oh. Close, but no cigar. Um... But yeah, I think they both look very solid. It's just fads. Fads in the middle. Mm. He's not... He can be absolutely solid. He's really, really slow. But I think in some games, he's making mistakes that usually he wouldn't make. Yes. Yes, that is true. I'm trying to look at some more positives. Jokeres and Godin are still scoring this season. They've got five between them, which is okay. Yeah. Callum O'Hare should be back soon. And another positive is the fans are just continuing to be brilliant. Yeah. That could be That's what gets us out of trouble. Yeah. Could I help us get out of trouble. When a club's got a good fan base behind them, that could help. So mm -hmm. I've got to say a massive thank you to the SBA. So looking at the next six games, Borough at home, Bristol City away, Burnley at home, Cardiff away, Sheffield United at home, Stoke away. Bear in mind, we've lost our last three home games from the first home game of this season, the last two of last season. We haven't won away since mid-April, and we've already played six away games this season. I don't know how we're going to suddenly turn it around. Well, this is the issue. So people say, oh, but we've got games in hand. Yeah, but you've got to win those games in hand for it to actually count. We've got to win all three games in hand we've got to get out of the bottom three. If we win two and lose one, we're mm. still in the bottom three. And we have got... Like you said, with our squad depth, and we've got a lot of games coming up in October. I think we've got nine, nine mm. games coming up, and it is ridiculous. Um, we've not got the depth for this. However, you just don't know. Like if we get a win on Saturday against Borough, confidence then starts creeping in. Yeah. Um, if we can get anything from the Bristol City game, another win would be great. Mm. Um, and then, you, yeah, you just don't know. If we can get some momentum going and you've got a few games back to back, the points could come in and then everyone's spirits are high. The fans then, honestly, last season at the CBSA, it was the fans. They mm. really were the 12th man. And we, if we can get everyone on such a positive again, we'll be absolutely fine. It's just getting there. <clears throat> After looking at everything then, the games we've played, the games we've got coming, mm. the depth, the positives, the negatives, the expected goals... Where do Coventry City finish this season right now? Don't ask me that. Right now? <laughs> Come on. No. We're, we're going to survive. Okay. But just by the skin of our teeth. You reckon? Yeah. I think it is going to be close, to be fair. Um, I think everyone's put in a lot on like O'Hare to come back. And that's a lot for one player. Mm. And what if he slightly gets rushed? back into yeah. the starting eleven, picks up another injury. Hamer, another key player, out for four games now because of a second red. And he is such an important player for us. We've not got the depth to replace him. So I think last season we had a stronger squad and yeah. that's why we did so well. This season we're weaker and it's going to be a tight one. Interesting. Obviously, get your own opinions down below. I know plenty of Cough fans are feeling optimistic still. Mm. Maybe that's to do with bias. Maybe not. There's some fans that are feeling negative and that might just be a rush of blood. Look, it could go any way at this point, but it's not looking great, is it? I want to see your thoughts down below. I ultimately think Coventry won't live up to last season, but I still think we could get out of this bottom three mess, but it might take a while. Get your thoughts down below, drop a like, subscribe, and maybe we'll do more Coventry City videos like this in the future. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.